Ken, what did Dracula say to Van Helsing when he was caught? I don't know. Oh no, foiled again! <laughs> Get it? Foiled? Yeah. Hi and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm Ken. And I'm George. And on this week's episode, we're doing foiling again. I love foiling with the mink. And this time we made some Halloween things. We made a witch card. And a vampire card. And a fabulous Frankenstein bookmark. All with the Cricket Explorer, the mink machine, and even the cuddle bug this time. So George is going to show you how he put them together in design space and then did the foiling. And I even textured the background with the new Cricut vellum with the cuddle bug. It's kind of hard to see on the video, but there's a really cool see-through effect. Distressed stripes with the vellum. And I love my fabulous Frankenstein. I colored his coat in with Wink of Stella pen. So he's fabulous because he's glittery. Why don't we go over to Design Space, and I'll show everyone how I did it. So here we are in Design Space. We're going to insert the images that we used to make those cool cards and tag that you saw in the beginning of the episode. So let's go to Insert Images. I'm going to select Cartridges. Then type in Autumn. Because I know it's on the Autumn Celebration cartridge. We're going to view the images. There's the tag. There's Dracula. And here's the witch. And insert images. So there's my cards. They're a little small. And here's my tag. So I'm going to make my tag four inches high. Move him out of the way for now. And then Dracula, I'm going to make the card seven inches wide. And the witch, I will make seven inches tall. Now we're going to go to layers. And we're going to ungroup Dracula first. And I'm going to come over here and change his card base to red, because I want to use red. And then we're going to come up to the outline of Dracula and change him to black. And then we're going to change him to a print then cut. The reason that we want to make him a print then cut is because we want to put foil on him. And to put foil on him with the mink machine, he has to be printed out in toner. So you need to print him out on a laser printer or a copier if it uses toner. You can't use an inkjet or a wax-based printer. It has to be toner-based. So once we select him as a print then cut, we're pretty much done with that card. Now let's move down the card and move the witch into her own space. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing with her. We're going to select it and ungroup. Then we're going to come over here and select the witch. Make her black. And the reason that we make her black is because if you leave her a color, the toner won't be as thick and have even coverage when you print her out. So you make her black and that way the foil will stick well to her. And then you want to make her a print then cut. Now let's do something special to Frankenstein. So Frankenstein, I'm going to make the background, maybe I'll print him out on yellow, and then I'm going to select him, make him black. And actually this time what I think I'm going to do is select it and flatten it. That way I can print him and cut it in one piece instead of doing two pieces and then I can foil right on the tag. So I think these cards are going to look really cool by themselves 
but this opening back here, I want to fill that in with something. Cricut has new Cricut vellum, and it's really cool. The colors are very bright and impressive, and you can see through it very nicely. I think we're going to use that and maybe put it through the cuddle bug to give it some texture. So I want to make a rectangle for each card to cover that back window. Let's scroll up to Dracula. I'm going to select him and say duplicate. I'm going to bring him over to the side and make him a cut file. So he's not print then cut, or at least this one's not print then cut. And then click contour. And then you can hide all the openings that it wants to cut. There, and then just click on the background, and it's a solid image. So you'll have the same size as what's on the front, except he has a little bump where his head pops out the top of the card that we won't need. So what we're going to do is insert a shape, insert a square. We're going to pull this down a little bit. And line that up like that. Hold down the shift key. Select the other piece and say slice. Then we can get rid of this and get rid of that. And there's this little bump, but it's going to be on the inside of the card, so you don't have to be exact. And then I'm going to make this, for right now, a gray. I'll probably cut it out of white. You can do the same thing on the witch card, or you can do something a little simpler. Let's go down and try out the simpler method. Come down here and say insert shape and we'll select a square. And it, there it is. We're going to come down and make this almost as big as the witch. And what we're going to have to do is turn off the lock so we can make it into a rectangle. There. That should cover up the window. So we're going to come over here and make that yellow. And I'm going to send it to the back. And that's what that card will look like. And if we send this to the back up here, and then move it, that's what the Dracula card will look like. Now we're just going to click Go, do our print then cut, and cut our images out in the Cricut. And then we're going to use the cuddle bug in the mink machine. So we have all our material cut, and now I want to emboss some of the new Cricut vellum. It's really nice vellum. It's very rich in color and a very, very smooth texture. So for the witch, we're going to do a chevron pattern. And for Dracula, we're going to do this distressed line pattern. So we're just going to run them through the cuddle bug. So for the chevron pattern, the folder is big enough to take the whole piece of vellum. So you're just going to put it, your A plate, a B plate, your folder, and then another B plate. And we're going to run it through our cuddle bug. Ooh, look at that. It's very cool. Then we're going to do the same for the Dracula background, except this one doesn't fit all the way into the folder. So we're going to run it through twice. Once like this, so the A plate, B plate, the folder, and the other B plate. Now we're going to take it out, very nice, and flip it around just a little bit, and line it up as best we can, and put it through again. 
So it just embosses the little part oops, that we didn't get the first time around. Oh, I did it off kilter. Ian should be here because it's off kilter. But it's still usable. Now let's use the mink and foil the front of the cards. So here we have all our print and cut images and I've cut the foil to the size of the image so now we can put it through the mink. So the witch I'm going to make a mint green, Dracula I'm going to make a royal blue or they just call it blue, and Frankenstein I'm going to make green. So now I'm going to put it through the mink machine and we'll probably do that in fast speed. There, we have our three projects foiled. Now let's put the rest of the card together. Here we have George's cards for me to put together. First I'm going to do the Dracula one, so I'm moving the witch out of the way. I think I'm going to start with the foil, well, no, I'm going to do the inside piece first. So George was worried about the extra embossing, but it's almost going to be entirely covered up by the bottom of the card so we don't have as much to worry about. But there's just a little tightness here around the edges. So I got a glue bottle that we got from one of our viewers at a meet and greet. It's some quilling glue and it has a really nice fine tip. So I'm gonna use this to lay out a fine bead of glue. Here I can be a little more generous, and on the back. I could put a little more on the edge here just to help hold things down. So there we go. Now for this, which is going to take a little while. <laughs> Just a little bit of glue spreading out on the edges, but I think it came out pretty good. Hopefully that will dry out and you won't see it as much. I did it a little backwards this time to put the bead around the other edge so there wasn't as much left around the edges as I placed it. So 
So there you go. There's the witch and the vampire. So there you can see how some foiling and some embossing adds a really nice enhancement to a pretty simple project. Yep, it was easy and fun. I love using foil and the embossing folders. Why haven't we used them a lot before this? Well, the embossing folders were spread all over the craft room. <laughs> mm, I guess cleaning up the craft room does have its advantages, because now they're all in one spot. And I've been looking through them, and I'm going to go crazy with all these embossing folders in our next project. But we do have a few more foiling ideas that we're going to share with you. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Ooh, the one where we take the... In I can't tell them, can I? Go see in the videos. Ooh, I can't wait. It's a lot of fun. So remember, to make sure that you see our new episodes, you should subscribe to our channel. If you're on YouTube, there's a red? Yeah. Red button down below that says subscribe. If you're on our webpage, there's a red button over there someplace that says YouTube. If you click on it and it does nothing, you're already subscribed. If you click on it and it does something, then you're not subscribed, and you should be. <laughs> you can follow us all over the internet. We're on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, check the description below on our website or on YouTube to find those links. We're also on Patreon, and all of our Patreons, no matter what their pledge level, will have access to the design file in Design Space. They're Cricut Cuts, so you'll need access to those, either with a subscription or by owning the cartridge. But George can save you a little bit of time by giving you his file to work with. Yep, a little thank you for everyone who supports us. So, until next Tuesday, or probably sooner, I already did the next foil project. I kind of want to do it again. It was so much fun. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Ken's board. <laughs> we'll have access to the...